Hi everyone, Ryan here. This video will be a review on the Shopify starter plan. Essentially, I'm going to be breaking down everything you need to know about this plan from pros, cons, and features. So if you're looking to start selling products online without that big upfront payment, then this video is an absolute must watch. Let's get started. So I'm going to start by breaking down the Shopify starter plan in the simplest way possible. The newly added starter plan is basically the mini bite-sized version of Shopify. It's the perfect starting point for your e-commerce journey. With just a few clicks, you can set up a simple yet powerful online store powered by Shopify. And this plan will still allow you to sell products through various channels like social media, email, SMS, WhatsApp, and everything else that you can share your link to your products. So let's start by talking about the point of this plan to begin with, which is essentially the pricing. The plan is a budget-friendly option for those just starting out. With a reasonable monthly fee of $5, you can access all the essential tools and features to get your online store up and running smoothly. And if you're interested in trying out different Shopify plans, including the starter one, then go ahead and check out the link in our description box down below. By using that exclusive offer, you can sign up for any Shopify plan for just $1 on your first month. So just $1 to kickstart your e-commerce journey with Shopify. And even though the monthly fee is only $5, should you even bother with the starter plan? For that, I'm going to be talking about the pros and cons of using this plan. Starting with the pros, we've got the user-friendly interface. The starter plan shines with the intuitive and user-friendly interface, making it a top choice for beginners or amateurs who are into e-commerce. Setting up your online store is a seamless process thanks to Shopify's well-designed platform that guides you through each step of the way. So even if you are completely new to e-commerce, you will find it easy to navigate and customize your store to reflect your brand's identity. Absolutely zero code skills required. Another feature is the access to a diverse range of customizable templates. Those templates are not only visually appealing, but also designed to enhance the professionalism of your online store. Within a few clicks, you can transform your store's appearance to align with your brand's aesthetics, giving you a major competitive edge in this crowded e-commerce landscape. And lastly, I want to talk about the excellent customer support. This is another compelling aspect of using Shopify in general, as Shopify prides itself on offering top-notch assistance to its users, ensuring that help is always at hand whenever you encounter challenges or have any questions. And due to the simplicity and affordability of the startup plan, it is something great that you can expect out of getting started with Shopify as a platform. You will notice that Shopify's dedicated support team is ready to provide timely and effective solutions, which is a big plus in my book. So as we could see, the Shopify store plan offers a host of benefits. However, one aspect that users need to consider is the transaction fees associated with the platform. And although these fees are reasonable, they can accumulate over time, especially as your business expands and processes more transactions. So it's essential to factor in these costs when evaluating the overall affordability of the Shopify store plan and comparing it with the different fees of the other plans. And for the starter one, the per transaction fee is 2.4% on cart payments and 2% on the third party payment gateway. So if you want to compare these to the other plans, then the basic plan, for example, is only 2% on the third party payment providers. And the Shopify plan for small teams is 1% for third party payment providers. The advanced one, even though it's at $300 per month, it's only 0.6% for third party payment providers. So as your business grows and you get that many more sales in, you might want to consider upgrading your plan, especially for that reduced per transaction fee. Another con of using the Shopify starter plan is that it doesn't really let you build a website with this plan. The starter plan is for people who want to sell through social media platforms like Instagram and TikTok, and it would only give you a checkout link and a simple storefront. So what this implies is that the Shopify store plan is not designed for creating a full-fledged standalone online store with a website. Instead, it focuses on facilitating social selling by offering a streamlined solution for users to showcase and sell their products on popular social media platforms. So you can leverage the simplicity of setting up a basic storefront and providing a seamless checkout experience, but you can't expect to have a massive scalable store through this. So in short, who should really use the starter plan? And the answer would be if your audience is mostly on social media or if you're a content creator. It also works if you run a small inventory and don't need all the features of a robust e-commerce platform. Or perhaps if you already have a website but want to add some products to sell, then you can make use of Shopify's seamless checkout experience and to sell your products. This plan is perfect to complement your existing online presence. 
But if you don't fall into any of these categories, then the star plan may not be the ideal choice for you, especially if you're looking to scale up quickly and take advantage of the advanced features. In that case, then the basic plan or the Shopify plan may be a better fit for your needs. And that will be a wrap on today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Let us know what your thoughts are in the comment section down below or whether you have any other questions. And if you found today's video to be helpful or informative to watch, then go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel so that you don't miss out on any follow-up content that we can make related to this one.